In 2023, I tested a bunch of very cool fast scooters, and Makura 10 Plus turned out to be one of the best performance versus price ratio, and my top number one pick. Second is non Robert LS7 Plus, 72 volt version. This is the fastest I have tried in 2023, hitting 120 km an hour. This is insane, and this should be top number one pick. But because Makura is way smaller, and you can fold the handlebars, very compact, it's about 80 pounds, and so much easier to load and unload in the car, easier to take it with you in the public places, New York City Transit, doesn't raise too many questions in a city. And you can bring inside the house easier, your office, it's so much more compact, and so much smaller than L7, and has similar performance, that's why I had to pick the 10 Plus. But today, finally, the Makuta 9 is delivered. This should be way smaller, and this new scooter has features you will not find in any other model on the market today. Let's unbox it and take a closer look. And we have here 48 volts, 15.6 amp hours. Let's see what's on this side. The same packaging. Let's open this up and see what's inside. The scooter was delivered fully assembled, only needed to be unpacked, that's all. Love the styrofoam blocks that keep the scooter perfectly standing, makes the unboxing very easy. The package is so simplified, efficient, and not much waste. Here is the Makura 9 Plus out of the box and it weighs around 70 pounds. It is the most compact in this weight class I have seen so far. We have a dual 800 watt system with total power delivery 1600 watts, 48 volt system as we saw earlier on the box and 15.6 amp hour battery capacity and we have some cool features here. There are no markings anywhere on the battery and we have this feature here so you open this connector up and you can plug this guy right here on top. We'll talk about this in a moment but the battery can be charged outside of the scooter. You have only one charger port and you get only one charger, 1.5 amp hours. So that will get fully charged in about 10 to 11 hours. What I recommend to get two chargers if you plan to charge on a scooter, on the body, and you have two charging ports, and I like this uh, spring loaded covers, really nice. If you plan to charge this battery outside of the scooter, in your office, in your house, then make sure you get a much faster charger. I recommend three, at least three amps an hour, or if not, if you can, get 5 amps, 5 amps will get you a charge in like 3 hours and 15 minutes maybe, somewhere there. Let's test the top speed, hopefully now it's not too busy. We have now in park and we have eco, sport and race mode. And this is uh, dual engaged, let's give it a try and see what it does. Nice acceleration. Oh this is cool. It's a compact scooter, but actually it packs a bunch. Let's wait for the cars to pass. Actually, even now it's midnight, it's still busy. Holy moly. All right, let's see what it does. Twenty-five. Twenty-seven. So I think 31 is the max. It shows 59 kilometers an hour. That's about 36 miles an hour on the speedometer. And it drops to 57 after a couple of seconds, which is 35 miles an hour. The scooter's maximum speed advertises 30 miles an hour on the website. And I hit 31 right before entering into the tunnel, which seems more closer to reality. And the battery doesn't sag as much as the beginning, so it's not bad actually. Here on the exit, I have a slight uphill and the scooter slows down a little bit. Let's see if GPS picks up the speed now. And from here to the lights and past, it's a steeper hill and I have to slow down going to intersection. So this is the maximum speed and suspension is so soft. Up hill 27, not bad. But the scooter still has good acceleration and good torque. I can keep up with the traffic easily. And this is 48 volt system, so 
This results are not bad at all for 48 volt. Yeah, this is pretty good actually. It has very nice acceleration, picks up speed fast. It doesn't spin the tires like the Mukura 10 Plus, but it's a 48 volts versus 60, so it is to be expected. Let's go into sport mode and see what it does. So it looks like 21, 22 is in the sport mode, which is decent. Let's go into eco mode. Still good torque. And that's going to be, what, 10, 11 miles, 12 miles an hour. 13. Range test. My weight, 240 pounds. Temperature, 37 degrees, but feels like 25. Testing in the maximum race mode, dual motors engaged, and the battery started to flash at two lines, but the scooter is still pushing well with decent torque. I managed to cover 16.3 miles in range. In the summertime, I expect with my weight to cover between 21 to 23 miles in range. This model is IPX6 rated for waterproofness. We're gonna ride it for a while outside and see how it does. Finish the wrench test and after that, I'm gonna open the battery, see if there's any water inside. And this scooter has a very cool way of uh, removing the battery. How to unlock it, it's very interesting. I haven't seen this on any other electric scooters and it has also other features which I'll show you in a moment. Pretty dope. Now I'm wearing sneakers and uh, the fenders are pretty well covering. There's no splash coming onto me so that's pretty good. And the battery it's flashing only one line and it's almost dead so I'll probably have maybe half a mile maybe one mile left in the range. Even though the power is dropping now I can feel it's not as fast as it used to be but still 27 almost like 17 18 miles an hour almost 20 it still picks up speed nicely and i think this is going to conclude our range test and it is freezing today and this evening is like 30 to 25 degrees and fahrenheit is pretty cold and i'm barely making back home <laughs> so i think i'll stop it and uh, yeah i don't want to drag it anymore this is painful to ride. Why did you pull it? Alright, so let's see the range. Cover 16.3 miles. Just came from outside. And you can see here the construction is great for the fenders. Covers pretty much entire wheel. And here in the front also, this opening, you have the frame. And it's all covered here. Really nice construction, so, so you're not going to get splashed with the water while you're riding. But the most important part is, let's see if there's any water inside when you pull it out. And let's see if there's any water. So, there is a little bit of dripping, but this is the connection. The water most likely is not going to get there. Here's the battery, and here's the connection. So it's pretty, pretty well covered. Just a few drops. And this mostly looks like... You see it's flat. It looks like it dripped when I tilted the battery on the side. It doesn't look like it's coming between the opening. So I think it's fine. But most important is this, the connection here. So I don't think the water is going to get there. Let me know guys uh, what you think in the comments. And this is probably when you press. I'm not even sure this is to engage the connection probably to the battery when it's pressed down. So pretty cool construction here. And all this is a thick rubber gasket so not bad to power on the scooter we use this button here once it comes live you have to touch the card on the top here and the scooter is on now and the screen is gorgeous five inches colored all the information here and we have similar to segway consoles integrated compact beautifully done and we have here on off this is to get on the in the settings if you hold longer if you stop for like 15 20 seconds goes into park you push up it goes to eco sport and in race mode if you long if you keep longer it turns on the light and this is walking speed and going down here if you double tap 
you can see the changing of the lights very convenient very easy and we have good grips we have let's go on park give a couple seconds gonna go on park mode and we have twist throttle good grips and it's very smooth there's almost no dead zone very minimal but very very smooth and it's a lot of range very comfortable and very intuitive on the left hand side we have turning signals love this uh, function you can see very bright and it is actually gonna switch automatically after 15 seconds very comfortable very convenient and it's gonna turn off by itself here we have on and off for dual mode and here we have the horn not super loud very similar to segway and i like this integration very nicely done and they saw my first review on mukura 10 plus and they improved this uh, uh, twist knob so once you twist it right once it's uh, done it doesn't come loose and these handlebars don't move at all perfectly done and i'm actually twisted to the left and it's spring loaded plenty of fret here to hold a little bit of uh, loctite seems to be uh, very easy to operate and this um, increased uh, accelerations really help you know to tie it you don't have to use a tool and it never comes off stay solid there even at high speeds after riding for almost a week it never came loose perfectly done the screen is awesome offers you so much information and if you press here on this button we can see various stats here on the top voltage the trip uh, current trip so not sure what is this for uh, uh, this lock maybe for the battery but pretty much you have here the mode the speed and uh, other uh, features here which is pretty enough for and it's decent and it's all the information you need when you ride going down we have this hook uh, for folding a little bit of rubber here to connect uh, it doesn't jiggle solid and here in the front let's turn the light off you have a screw to open and insert your air tag so you can gps your scooter and see location in real time which is really cool this light is super bright folding mechanism but before we fold the scooter if you look at the suspension execution adjustability if you look here on the bottom how it's executed all sealed all the wires hidden if you look at the construction it's beefy it's massive and the scooter looks really thin the body it's very slim here inside the walls are so thick really beefy look at the construction all so well executed adjustability in the back here all wires well managed defender covers everything it's just a beautiful scooter the well chosen colors i like this kind of like orange gold the same color on top the same color mac front uh, fork the rear arm suspensions really well done and the rubber everything feels high quality uh, feels like a premium scooter the wire management so well executed all covered nicely wrapped it doesn't grab anything like the cpro arvala uh, i want to see the same thing as here on that uh, scooter look everything seamlessly integrated it's the same quality if not better than segway done really really happy how this looks and how well this is executed look all the wires nothing loose nothing you know spacers and uh, uh, ties management for the cables perfectly done the handlebar the grips there's no hardware to secure them but they're solid they're not moving and very comfortable very grippy very sticky and this handlebar if you look it's so clean there's nothing extra beautifully executed and if you look here in the front very nicely done hydraulic brakes not sure if this is zoom or shimano feels like shimano feels higher quality very soft and enough power grips and locks in the tires immediately plenty of power very good brakes and here we have the the calipers and the disc brakes beautifully and they balanced on each side oppositely positioned very well done and the tires one thing i forgot about the tires here this is nine inch tubeless self-healing tires you don't have to worry about getting flats which is perfect for long range rides and commuting all right let's check the lights so when the scooter it's uh, in parking and the lights are not engaged this front bar is super bright 
we have the side panels from the wheel all the way in the back and this is the cool part here so if you double press it's gonna be solid double press is gonna be green double press will be different color so you can play with this and have it off or moving or solid so let's say we'll leave it this color which is pretty cool and then to turn the lights on you have to move this uh, thumb up and the lights will engage it is not super bright like the C Pro from Arvala that I recently reviewed but it's more than decent good concentration in the center and uh, you can adjust it but this is how it hits it hits pretty far in a complete dark environment if you're off-roading somewhere on the trails will be enough to see up front and you can adjust it's uh, mounted into the stem when you have this little, like it's like a lens here in the front and it's mounted right into the stem so you can adjust that we have turning signals and they turn off automatically you just press once and they blink for like 15 seconds or something like that it's a very long time and uh, you don't have to turn them off they will uh, stop blinking by themselves let's see how long we'll take that's it and let's check the brake lights and the brake lights decent and these are the lights and this from the side this is how the scooter looks like and the lights up front when it comes to folding and twist the snaps, spring loaded, push them down. This comes down all the way here, grips, and you're good to go. 70 pounds is not that bad. I wish it was maybe 65, 60, but this is what it is. You get reinforced uh, frame, which really helps. And I think 260 pounds, it's lightly calculated. I think it can do 300 pounds easily. Just look how compact it folds. This is perfect. This is pretty cool. So to open the battery, you hold this button here, goes on P1, go to one and turn it off. You can hear this, battery out. Look how thick those walls are. And let's see what we can do with this pack now. So we have this adapter. And this is the cool part, remove this cover here, you have this bolt to connect right there. So once you connect, the light comes on and you have two USB A type and you have the speeds here and USB C type. You can use a regular screwdriver or you can just twist it, make sure it's connected so it doesn't move, it doesn't come out. I have my computer here and it's 80% of the battery. Let's connect this here. And you see, it shows charging. We can also, let's also put a bunch of other USB cables. 360, and the install, let's connect them, and the light, and let's see how it does. And you can see it's charging all these devices, and you can connect your cell phone, wherever, you know, matches this maximum output. So now this is 100, so it's saying here it needs a faster charger because this is a very powerful laptop. It's i9, GTX, NVIDIA, so um, yeah, this is pretty much it. So you can use this as a battery bank and you have 15.6 amp hour capacity, so it'll power a lot of electronics for a very long time. And once you drop this battery back in, hear this out. Locked. When it comes to suspension, we can adjust it. We can adjust it, loosen it, or tighten it. In the front and also in the back. It's much better now for my weight. So you can adjust if you're lighter or heavier. 
The suspension gives you a wide range of adjustments, from very soft the way I had it out of the box to steep, which I just adjusted it and feels so much better. And this is the first scooter I'm testing that is so easy and so fast to adjust to desired level. You can make it very responsive and very slow and comfortable. The deck width it's seven inches and one quarter, length twenty-one inch and three quarters, and the footrest about seven inches. Handlebar width. 26 inches from the deck to the stem 38 and a half inches not adjustable to the handlebars It is 42 inches. The frame is very robust and despite looking thin and compact It's well reinforced on the joints all around suspension brackets Smooth rounded lines that make it look light the power delivery makes it feel nimble But the scooter is beefy and a bit on the heavier side than it looks I like the color chosen very slick design great performance for this power rating and for this price level The lights are super cool and the increased visibility increased safety in the traffic If you want the wild performance get the 10 plus But if you're looking for comfort and lighter option then 9 plus is your choice on the Makuta website It's priced at 1649 which is really high, but they have a $300 off coupon code which brings it to 1349 and you get 25 months of warranty. This is the longest warranty I know of. This brand has a great reputation so far and they're super fast in responding to all my emails. At this price level, this is a steal deal for this level of quality and performance on this product. This scooter, it's perfect for city commuting. The link will be down below, check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.